Rent is skyrocketing in Orlando. Data shows last year a one bedroom cost $13.75 a month. Now it's $300 more, $16.75 a month. Politicians agree it's a problem. Fox 35's Matt Treza looking into the debate over solutions. This letter from State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith and other legislators is calling on Governor DeSantis to declare an affordable housing emergency in the state. We in our office, we're hearing from constituents who are facing 10, 20, even up to 30 percent rent hikes that they simply can't absorb. The letter cites media reports showing that Central Florida rents have increased 20 percent since January. It also references how the state has cut more than $2.3 billion from its affordable housing trust fund since 2001. That money would have gone to building more affordable homes. Therefore, we're sitting here with a lack of affordable housing units. In response, DeSantis says his budget has put money into a fund that helps first-time home buyers. He says he's also increased pay for many public sector workers. We're increasing teacher pay again. We're doing $1,000 bonuses for teachers and principals and cops and firefighters. Uh, we're increasing salaries for state law enforcement by 25 percent. Guillermo Smith says the county could use tourist development tax dollars to build more affordable housing. People in Orlando say they back the move. Something needs to be done about the high rents. Well, it's going higher and higher every, every month. <laughs> this year is crazy compared with the last year. Excessive increases at this point in time, I don't think are going to work. State lawmakers are asking the governor to cap rent increases at 10 percent and make that retroactive for the last 12 months. In Orlando, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.